Hi guys. You got Boogie Bob in the bathtub. So ladies, this is like a bonus for you. Enjoy. Fellas, some of you, it's a bonus for you as well. Enjoy. Other guys that are puking right now, I get it. I'm gross. All right, listen. Uh, today's about regrets. All right, I had a, I don't regret that hairline. 56 years old, look at that, 57 now. Shit's holding in like a trooper. Uh, life is short, guys. I was your age. I was 20-something a year ago. And then you wake up and you're 56, and it's, it's tough. So, um, yesterday the Super Bowl started at 6.30, and my father-in-law passed away at like 6.20. Just, I mean, I got the news 10 minutes before kickoff. And my 49ers were playing. I've been waiting for it forever. I'm a diehard 49er fan. That game meant nothing. Losing didn't even hurt. What hurt was that I, uh, my father-in-law had an injury, an accident, several months ago where he was paralyzed. They ended up taking his, um, his leg, amputating his leg a couple months ago. And I kept saying, I'm going to go. Thank God I did go visit him. He was in a coma and paralyzed. And, uh, but I said, I'm going to come back. And when he's talking, I got him. I'm going to be there. And uh, last week I said, I'm going, I'm going. And he was moved to a different hospital for therapy or something. And then I got the call that he had passed away. And of course, human nature is that I, I'm full of regret. Life is short. Turn off this video now. Hit the hate button. Don't hit like. Don't hit subscribe. Run to your phone. Call your mom. Tell your lover. Call your dad. Tell your lover. Call your brother who you've been in a fight with for two years that you love him and you're sorry. Life is short. In high school, I was obviously the most popular person in my whole town. I thought, oh, I got 300 friends. They're gone. None of them are around. I can count my day one solid homies on these two fingers. So I want you to hang up the phone. For me, please, I never ask you for shit. I deliver all this dope-ass content, you know, and now I'm in the bathtub with no shirt on for you ladies. Ladies, fellas, quit hating. Ladies, pick up the phone. Please, I implore you. Call your girlfriend who you're beefing with. Call your sister who you haven't talked with. Call your mom. It's You don't have to do it on Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, Mom. I love you. Call her ass right now. I lost both my parents, and it still hurts. And now I lose my stepfather, who was like my homie. And it hurts. And I'm filled with regret. And I wish I could go back in time. I'd give everything I own to go back one week, hold his hand, tell him I love him, and close that chapter, him knowing that I love him. Instead of him passing away and maybe thinking about, where's Bob? Don't let these regrets chew you up forever. I have so many regret, regrets over things in life that I can't go back and fix. Now I am the preacher. I stand on a milk crate and I tell y'all, don't do what I did. Run out there and tell everybody you love them. I tell you at the end of every single podcast or vlog, whatever the hell this shit is called, please be kind to each other. Be kind to yourself. Be good and loving and caring. I was almost killed two days ago on my bicycle. Knocked all my teeth out. Look at that. All fucked up. Still cute. Thank God I'm still cute. I lost all this weight. And now instead of looking super mad cute, I look like a crack addict with missing all my teeth. Life is short, bro. Please hang up. Call your mom. Call your dad. Call your friend. Call your neighbor. Call your mailman. Put it in the comments below. Bob, I called my mailman. I yelled at him at Christmas because he didn't deliver my damn package from UPS. What have you? Please, I'm begging you. For you. This ain't for them. This is for you. My father-in-law didn't die re with regrets that I didn't come. He died and I have regrets that I didn't come. And I'm going to carry them with me forever. I wish I would have. I should have. I could have. And now I think of you because I love you guys. My, my, my subscribers are solid as hell. I love all you guys, man. And uh, I, I really want you to think about it. Life is so short, bro. I was 18 years old with a six-pack stomach and hair down past my ass. I was a rock and roll white boy. And now I'm an old-ass man. I'm on the end of my lifeline, bro. I'm not, I don't have a long way to go. I'm 57 or 58. I can't remember how old I was. I was born in 62. You do the math. I'm a Scorpio. So 58. 
I'll be 59, pretty soon 60. And, um, you know, you don't get a do-over. I wish I did. Please be kind. Please be loving. And I'll hang up the damn phone. You should have hung up 10 minutes ago. Call your mama and tell your lover. Call your dad, your brother, your cousin, and don't forget about that poor UPS driver. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. God bless you. Peace.